All right, guys, we just got a little update on Hollow Knight Silk Song, along with a few other miscellaneous Hollow Knight things. So I'm going to talk about it really quick. So we have a new post over on Team Cherry's website, celebrating the two year anniversary of Hollow Knight, which actually was back in February, I believe. Yeah, back on February 24th. And so, yeah, so yeah, to celebrate, um, they they posted a lot of like fan art and fan fan things, so you can see some sculptures here. Um, they posted a lot of fan stuff, a lot of posters, a lot of images. They also again told us about the um, physical edition of Hollow Knight, which we've already known that for a little while now. But this is over on Fan Gamers website, so it actually comes with a lot of stuff. You can see here. Um, you know, get this collector's box, brooch, this comic book, etc. All these things come with this um, edition, so they were just pointing that out um, again. So we have that there still. They also mentioned this Wanderer's Journal again, which looks really cool. I'm definitely picking this up. I already pre-ordered it. Um, it just is a lot of artwork and things, probably lore. I'll be able to read through this and maybe do some theory videos, so I'm really looking forward to getting this book. Um... And yeah, so then we get to the mini Silk Song update. It's really not much, guys. Um, really, it's just a few little tidbits about some of the enemies. And we actually already saw images of, I believe, most of them, except for um, this guy right here. But the other ones, I believe, we've already seen. They were already posted on their like press kit. They released a bunch of images. Um, but yeah, so if we read this through here, we can try and see if there's anything that we can sort of extrapolate from it so it just says right up front we have to say very quick a very sincere thank you to all of you and your responses to silk song surprise announce keeping a secret like that for two years is crazy though and the enthusiasm and passion from the community and fans is the world's best reward we're right now working double hard to make hornet's big adventure the giant sprawling surprising journey you deserve so yeah even right here this is interesting right here them saying that they've been keeping this secret for two years so it sounds like they've known about this Silk Song game since Hollow Knight released. I know always the DLC we knew was coming, but man, they've, if they've been working on this for that long, guys, I would be shocked if like, the game didn't end up coming out like maybe later this year. And maybe even t uh, this week on Wednesday, we have the Nintendo Switch uh, Indies Direct. I don't know if maybe it could show up there. Probably not. I don't know. I think this is a bit bigger game. It would probably be in Nintendo's like full Direct. Um, and again, I'm saying Nintendo because that's the only console we know that's coming to right now is Nintendo Switch. Um, also PC, but we don't know about PlayStation or Microsoft. It's not confirmed yet. So, like, it sounds crazy since we just got the announcement, but the game really could be coming, like, this year. That'd be really cool. Um, anyway, let's continue. Uh, but today is a speed, is a speed update. We're not going to go into lavish details or reveal new game features. Instead, we're doing a quick dash intro to a few of Hornet's friends and rivals, an all new cast of wild strange bugs within a vast new kingdom, the haunted land of Farloom. Ah, okay. So that's interesting. So I guess Farloom is going to be the name of the new area. I just assumed for some reason it was going to be called Silk Song, like that was the name of it, but whatever. Anyway, I guess that's it. The new area is going to be called Farloom, so cool. Hornet will wake in this withered land, a kingdom dedicated to faith and pilgrimage, crowned by an enormous shining citadel and bursting with weird and wonder wonderful creatures. So yeah, again, stuff we've already known. Lace, so here's the first enemy here. Um, wields a gilded pin, the traditional weapon of Farloom. Lace is a dangerous foe cloaked in mystery who will delight at causing Hornet's swift, skewered demise. We have Chakra here. Again, we've already known about this person. Uh, fierce and intimidating, Chakra is a warrior seeking her master who vanished under strange circumstances. Chakra's clan are skilled fighters who can handle their own in the kingdom of the wild. Usually, usefully for Hornet, each member of the clan also hones a craft skill, and Chakra's mastery of cartography will prove invaluable on Hornet's adventure. Oh, so actually this isn't an enemy. Okay, interesting. So it looks like there's a bunch of these guys and they help Hornet hone her crafting skills. 
and master cartography so this maybe will be something to do like how in the first game we had the cartographer for the maps but it looks like also it's going to have some sort of crafting thing as well so maybe these guys will end up teaching hornet um her new crafting abilities because we know crafting is going to be a bigger part in this game uh then we have trabio master of the stage the brush and the voice the flamboyant butterfly trabio seeks fame and ad adortion throughout far loom Okay, so I guess this is another like friendly NPC. Um, I guess that kind of reminds me of like Marissa a little bit, just like the way it's described here. Um, then we have Sherma. We knew about this one already too. An optimistic pilgrim on a spiritual journey, Sherma's path may often cross with Hornet's own, but his lack of combat and acrobatic prowess can land him in a desperate need of aid. So it sounds like we'll actually be helping this guy a bit because um, we know already that there's going to be more like side quests in Hollow Knight Silk Song, and they already mentioned too that there's going to be certain uh, side quests where you're going to be helping characters in this game. Like there's going to be a lot of NPCs that want you to either fetch something or help them with something, and so sounds like this is going to be one of those characters. And then lastly, again we know we knew about this guy, Garmin and Zaza, a rambunctious older bug and his noble steed on a quest to discover a new home. Garma may be the chatter of the two, but Zaza could be the real brains of the pair. And we saw in the trailer for Silk Song that this guy was like riding in front of you and like hitting, um, attacking some enemies. So, you know, well, I guess we'll see how that sort of plays into the game. And then again, there's a lot more fan art down here, which you can go through on your own if you want. Um, like, yeah, there's just a lot of fan art. Yeah, it, I mean, it looks really good, but. But it looks like that's it guys, so as far as an update on Silk Song, we didn't get much, we just got a few little sentences about some of the enemies and NPCs, but yeah, again, this is making me think that this game is coming really soon guys, like, it was just announced, but it sounds like this year is going to be dropping, so I will update you guys in the future if any more things get posted, and I will see you guys in the next one.